this is so fun to watch i wish i could break it to a dance myself in today's video we'll be reviewing a new ai tool that turns your live videos into anime magic as just shown but that's not all we'll be exploring a plethora of creative scenarios where this tool stands out without wasting much of your time let's get started the tool we'll be reviewing today would be domo ai and to access domo ai just come to domoai.app and this website gives you a general overview of how the tool works while showing you different examples of what you can create with Domo AI. To get started with Domo AI, all you need to do is just click on the join our Discord. And once you hit on that, it's going to open up an invitation page and it's going to ask you to accept the invite. And once you accept the invite, it's the Discord app and it's going to add the Domo channel to the one you already have here it gives you a breakdown of how to get started you could also watch a couple of tutorials on how to use the tool but the most important part here is where we have used domo we have a couple of chat rooms where you could go in and go ahead and create in what you want to create for me i like to use a private chat room i don't like to use a general because it can be quite distracted if you have a lot of things to create. And for that, you could use two options. You could either create a server yourself, like I have here called a ZDO server, or within that server, you can create a channel like I have done here. But let me show you how to quickly create your server, bring in your Domo AI board, and then we could move on to the next step. To create your own server, just click on add a server, and you say create my own create for me and my friends we'll just call it domo tests and then go ahead and click on create server and once you create that server you can see here that there is a server already created and then it's going to ask you what do you need do you need to invite friends or what apps do you need to invite just click here add your first app and then click on check it out and then here you type in domo ai because you're trying to look for the board and hit enter and this is the board just click on it and say add app it's it would ask you to choose which of the servers so i have multiple servers but this is the one we want to add it to add it to the domo test and click on continue authorize go ahead to check the box to say that you're a human and then go to domo test and then the domo app has officially been added to this particular server so if you hit on the slash it's going to give you um, functions which you'll be using to create your prompt within domo so that's how to start and set up your domo account the first function of domo ai that we'll be testing would be video to video we'll just copy to the server we just created and we hit on the slash and then there are multiple functions you could use but here we'll be using turn video to video so we'll click on slash video it's going to ask you to upload what that video is we're just going to click and then we're going to select which video we want to use and once the video is done uploading here type in what the video is all about here is a lady sitting behind the desk and talking let me show you quickly what this video looks like welcome to the zinni studio where we talk about artificial intelligence ai tools tips and tricks to help you create passive income through digital products online services and youtube we'll just hit enter and once you hit enter it's going to load and give you multiple options of what you want to turn this talking lady into a specific style there are multiple styles you could do flat color anime style and these are other multiple styles as well the japanese anime and as well as 3d comic styles totally storybook cartoon there's multiple ones you could test out for this tutorial we'll be using the flat color anime style and once you choose that style here it's going to ask you should we refer to the source video more in generating what you have 
added or should we refer to the prompt you typed you could choose to refer to the source video more and then you choose how many minutes you want to generate you could generate from all the way from three seconds to 20 seconds depending on the subscription you have here we'll be generating five seconds and i'll just hit on the start button once you hit on the start button it's going to take about five minutes to generate just fast forward this and show you the end result it is done generated you can see here we have the um, video that we uploaded and you can see how the new anime style that it generated looks like we'll just go ahead and play this and see how it sounds welcome to the zinni studio where we talk about artificial intelligence ai tools tips and tricks to help you create passive income through digital this looks good you will notice that the mouse is not moving but i will show you how to fix that um, later on some of other examples that i was able to create as well here i was able to create a 3d animation you can see how different this looks let's just look at this and see how it sounds as well welcome to the zinni studio where we talk about artificial intelligence ai tools tips and tricks to help you create passive income through digital this is 3d animation when it comes to the clip that i showed at the beginning of this video is the same process all i did was to hit again the slash and go to video and then upload the clip of the dancing ladies so let's just upload that and hit open so this is the clip and we'll just type in here dancing ladies and hit enter it's going to show up here and it's going to ask you what format or what style do you want to animate this and i still use the flat color anime style you could choose any old style of your choice like i earlier mentioned and then i chose to create over um 10 seconds um clip which would take about 10 minutes and i just click on generate this and click on start and it starts generating that video for us it's going to take about 10 minutes i'll just show you i'll just fast forward and show you the result so this is the original clip and this is the one that it generated so just click on play and you could see it that has animated the video for us so and i went ahead to download it and added some music at the background there are multiple styles you could choose to create depending on what you want to showcase this for. I dive into showing you other features Double AI offers and how you could use them and also how to fix the lip syncing when it comes to the videos that is being generated. You might ask what are these, some of the use case scenarios which you could use this tool for. Welcome to the Zinni Studio where we talk about artificial intelligence, AI tools, tips, and tricks. finding value so far in this tutorial kindly hit that like button it helps youtube algorithm recommend this video to more people and it also tells me that you like this type of content thank you so much now that we have a bit of an idea what you can use these tools for the next thing would be for things like a talking avatar like this or how do you fix the lip syncing part of it when it's already a video for us to do that first of all you need to download this video and to and to do that, you could click on the after. It opens up to a new um, particular page. And then you could go ahead and save the video. And it's going to save it to your desktop or your particular place that you want to your computer. Once you have it saved, the next thing that you need to do would be to come to this particular website. And there are a couple of websites that will help you lip sync of videos. Come to sync 
lab.labs.so so i find that this particular one tends to have a better synchronization with videos compared to some other ones and once you come in here this also works with the subscription but i don't have any subscription i'll be just showing you how to use it to fix the lipstick again click on new project and this dialog box opens up the next thing you need to do would be to drop the video file we just downloaded select that video file we just downloaded it would ask you to drop the audio file obviously when you are creating this video you can get the audio of the video you have created let's get the audio file and hit on open from then it will ask you to choose which of the models do you want to use let's try out the 1.6.0 and hit on generate and then wait for the video to generate the video is done being created see how this sounds and you can see how the leaf now moves very accurately we'll just click on the video we expanded and we'll go ahead to click on this so you could see how this sounds welcome to the zinni studio where we talk about artificial intelligence ai tools tips and tricks to help you create passive income you could see that the mouth is perfectly synced now that we have used this particular tool to sync the lips so once on just click on download the next feature i'll be talking about would be making your character move let me explain what that means this is when you get an image that is static and you get a video that you want that image to be make and then you join both of them together to produce similar steps with your own personal image so how does this work so what you need to do is come into double AI, click on slash. I click on the word move. It will ask you for two files. It will ask you for a video file that you want to use and the image file you want to use. So we'll just click here. I will be uploading the video file we want to use and then we'll be uploading the image file we want to use for this. Okay, so this is the two um, files and then you go ahead to type in your prompt. You just say lady dancing and hit enter. Once you do that, it's going to ask you what type of style do you want to animate. So you could say realistic. It's going to give you like a realistic um, image or a dance. And then you could use this. You could use Japanese or flat color. So here we're going to use the detail anime style. So once you select that, choose how many minutes you want this to run for. So I'll just say 10 seconds and hit start. And then I will fast forward to what the result looks like. This is the final result. Let me just click into it. And this is how the final result looks like. This room looks really good. I like how he's mimicking the same dance. So you could try this out. I think this is one of the major features that is trending right now in Domo AI. The next functionality that we'll be looking at would be um, image to video. To do that, we just use the same slash. And here we're going to choose animate. And once we choose animate, we're going to drop in the image that we want to animate. This is the image we want to animate. This is a ninja that I created for the cover of a story that I'm working on. It's on a different project. And we'll just go ahead and hit on enter. And then it would ask you what is the intensity of the image you want to create the low mid high i like to leave it low because it tends to amplify the colors of the image and then you could choose how many seconds you want to generate i'll just generate for three seconds and hit start and then we'll wait for this to finish and see how it looks after the image has been animated it's done animating this is the static image and this is the result let's just play it and you could see how he animates it. It makes the body move with the hair and it makes it into anime. In case you have a different image, it's going to convert that image into an anime style. I have another version. This one has a bit of movement more than the previous one, but this looks really good. There's so many things you could do with an animated static image where you are creating, for example, 
different stories. I tested it on one more thing on a model. This is the image of the model that I uploaded and let's see what it did with the image of the model. You could see that it made the hair move and the eyes bend. I guess if you have a longer seconds, you'll be able to have it move a lot more. But this is really good in terms of how we maintain the whole structure and then animated every given thing. Kudos to Domo AI. The next particular feature that I'll be looking at would be how to generate um, images or turn of anime images to real pictures because Domo AI also has a feature that enables you to create images or even convert existing anime images to real images. The first I will be testing out will be to generate the image. Hit on slash and click on gen. Type in the prompt of the particular image you want to generate. I'm going to generate an image of a young um, girl with a red hair. I'll just type in the prompt. I'll just go ahead and hit enter. And then we'll wait for this to complete and see the images it's going to generate for us. Normally it generates about um, two to four images and then you get to choose the one you like. And then if you don't find what you like among the four images that is being generated, you have the choice to remix or regenerate. This is our result. You could see it gave about four images. What you could do is if you like any of these, just go ahead upscale. If you want any variation of any of these images, you just go ahead. This is one, two, three, four. And then if you want to remix, you can also go ahead to click on the remix button. But I like the images the way it is. But you can also convert this image to an anime model. What you could do is you could just click on this button here and it starts generating a new model. You can also click on illustration and it starts generating a new illustration as well. This is the first result for the anime. It converted that picture that we had to this. And then this is the second one which we converted to an illustration. But let's look at the anime one. You could see that this looks pretty close to what we have in the previous image. For example, if you also want to convert any of these images back to real images, we'll just go ahead to upscale it. What we will be able to do is once it's done upscaling, we can always click on the real model and it's going to convert this anime um, picture into a real image. And I'm going to show you another way to do that as well. To convert this from the anime into a real picture, you could use the slash and then select real. It's going to open up this dialog box. Go ahead to click on this and we'll be uploading the image back and hit enter this is our anime photo and let's look at the real one this is pretty good it looks realistic as you can see and the image seems to be consistent it depends on what which particular image you want to use double ai has very cool features i believe you could use for your content creation and other case scenarios i had earlier mentioned i encourage you to check it out and play with the tool and see how that works for you one more thing i wanted to show would be how much does it actually cost to use Domo ai you could go back to their website we're going to go to their faq go to the base of the website and then look at the subscription that they have initially they used to have a free plan so that this doesn't exist anymore for their basic plan it costs about nine dollars and 99 cents to subscribe the standard is about 19 dollars and 99 cents and the pro plan is about 49 dollars and 99 cents you don't need to start from the highest plan you could start from the basic and work your way up depending on what you're using it for in terms of your projects or for your content creation i believe that domo ai is a very good tool to use for creating different projects that you have in mind if you want to learn so much more on how to make other types of animations for your faceless youtube channel check out this video i have on the screen and i will see you there